Hiya, Jeff. What's that you've got there? I've got a really sweet letter from a little boy called Theo Lightfoot, who's four years old from Leeds. Did you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah. It says, Dear Rachel, I think your hair is beautiful. Thank you very much. And please can you tell me how the letters stick on? Oh. So I'll tell you, Theo. We've got magnets on the back, just like that. So plunk them on, and that's it. I still manage to throw them around sometimes, but that's the magic, the magic of magnets. There you have it. Those are our trade secrets. You're giving them all away. <laughs> Funnily enough... <laughs> <laughs> this is the TV presenter and yummy mummy these days, Amanda Lamb. <laughs> I mean, the, the yummy low now, which... Has that put a stop to the globetrotting, Amanda? Is it home-based stuff from a now on? A little bit, yeah. For the first year it has. I mean, we, you know, just coming up to Manchester, it's sort of a military operation now. So we, we came up um, at the beginning of the week and it was sort of trying to plan everything and sort of the car is groaning as we're coming up the motorway. But I wouldn't change it for the world. She is just the most beautiful little girl. She's, she's adorable. She's changed our lives completely and she is amazing. I sort of feel... I said the other day, it feels like, you know, when you're a child, that sort of feeling you had on Christmas Eve and Christmas morning of that utter excitement coupled with jet lag it's the worst jet lag you've ever had yeah. and the best feeling in the world so i'm mm. i'm so lucky she's gorgeous mm. uh, going away with susie i mean that can be a logistical nightmare can it can't it? you've got to plan it yeah. months ahead it's very true and for the first <laughs> <laughs> well you've got no problem with suitcases of course amanda i've got hundreds of them yeah, yes, hundreds, hundreds of them of <laughs> i don't think we'll give it any more plug but thank you for that <laughs> let's move on with... um, please can i have a consonant you can thank you start with y um, and another? L. And a third? S. And one more? T. And a vowel, please? I. And another? E. And another? U. And a consonant? S. And uh, another consonant, please? And a final P. Yep, we got pulses, um, which is a good one for a trainee doctor, isn't it? And um, mm. tissue for seven, and stipules for eight. Mm. To start off with, and both the guys on the scoreboard. Mm. I got trailer as well, and was terribly excited. And then you two went ahead, mm -hmm. haven't you? Uh, yeah, well, Maltier still said Maltier, as in your chocolate drink of the night time, Maltier. Mm. Mm. Uh, but trailer very good for both. Going to talk it's about. It's gone so quickly this week. I'm going to talk about language. Um, for the last 16 years, I've travelled the globe, um, and when I was a child, the worst two subjects that I had at school were geography and French. <laughs> I was useless at both of them. So I thought, when I started Place in the Sun, I needed to brush up on, on my language skills, and I was awful at all languages, but now I can sort of just about get by in asking where the toilet is in lots of different languages with relative success. I have ended up in kitchens in restaurants <laughs> sometimes, but most of the time I managed to get to the toilet. And there was one time in France when we were filming with a... I guess the only way to describe him was slimy, a rather slimy estate agent that was trying to get me to go out for a drink with him after the filming. And so I thought, this is the perfect time to practice my French. So if anyone is watching at home, I apologise. Um, but in my best sort of Del Boy Trotter French, I said, oh, no, no, you know, je suis désolé, I'm, I'm going to wash, lavage uh, my hair. And hair and horse... In, in, France, in French, are rather similar. Susie speaks French, don't you? So we yeah. were just trying to work it out. I said chevaux, and it was supposed to be chevaux. Chevaux, yeah. Yeah. So he sort of then looked at me and said, uh, you are going to wash your horse in your hotel room? And I said, yes, yes, wee oui, wee, oui. <laughs> and sort of ran off. So I managed to sort of put him off because he just thought I was slightly mad. So I need to practice those skills a little bit more, but uh, it did catch me out. <laughs> just let me go home. Yeah, there's been lots of times. And you can normally tell we have um, a house hunter dinner at the very beginning of filming where we get to meet them. And I think, in general, you can sort of make your mind up on people as soon as you meet them. And there have been a few times where we've sort of thought, oh, we've got a whole week of this. But then there been other times when I've been wandering along a beach in Fiji doing a piece to camera thinking gosh I actually get paid to do this for a living so it's not been a bad job I've been very very lucky <laughs> <laughs> please thank you Elliot why and another one s and a third one t and a vowel o and another one e and another one a and a consonant. D. And another one. F. And a final consonant, please. And a final W. Thank you, Charlie. N. And another. S. And another. K. 
Okay. And a vowel. I. And another. A. And another. E. And a consonant. D. And a consonant. N. And another consonant, please. And finally, L. Yeah. Mm. Both nice. Yeah. What about you two, Amanda, Susie? Uh, yes, we have a couple of eights over here. We have um, annelids, a uh, zoological term for a uh, family that includes uh, earthworms, lugworms, different kinds of worms. Uh, and we also had a lovely word, um, a Yiddish word, knedels, K-N-A-I-D-E-L-S, which are types of dumplings eaten uh, during Passover in Jewish households. Uh, well, you get the feeling that, Amanda, we won't be seeing you again, but no. very much en enjoyed your company. What, what's, what's next for you in work terms, do you know? More Market Kitchen, more travelling around the country um, with, the, with the property show. So, yeah, lots, lots um, and lots. I'm a very busy girl at the moment, but it's lovely. I've had a really, really lovely week. I've really enjoyed it. It's been great. My brain hurts a little bit now, though, and well done, Charlie. <laughs> Oh, it was a bit tense, that last one, wasn't it? It was. It was fantastic, wasn't it? <laughs> it was wonderful. There's that word again. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wonder it sometimes. I would love to. Absolutely okay. love to. Enjoy your company once again. And, Rachel, hope you all have an absolutely fantastic...